This is part two in a series of shoulder anatomy that I'm showing you on a poster so you can better understand how to rehab your shoulder. And you might wonder why. Why would you care about anatomy? Well, if you're going to have common terminology with rehab people like me, then you have to understand anatomy. This is on the shoulder blade section of the shoulder complex. Enjoy. All right, everyone, this is going to be on shoulder anatomy again. This time we're going through, or last time we went through actually the rotator cuff muscles. So those are the four muscles that most people have questions about when it comes to the shoulder. But realistically, we got a lot going on with the shoulder blade. Okay, and the shoulder blade, if you don't know, is actually this area right here. It includes the scapula as well as the saucer right here. Okay, so a lot of times when we find that we rehab, the blade, then the cuff gets better, or a lot of shoulder pain gets better. So it's not uncommon to find non-symptomatic uh, rotator cuff issues, such as minor tears and so on. But let's learn the rotator or the uh, the shoulder blade muscles. So for that, we'll come down here. Okay. So we the shoulder blade is actually called the uh, the scapula. Now the scapula is primarily um, it's held on to the body fairly well with this what I call the dynamic strut. Okay, the entire the entire section, the entire shoulder girdle. Okay, this whole complex, the arm, the ball, the scapula, are all held on held on with two strut areas. Okay, most people are familiar with the clavicle, which we have up here. So this clavicle is is like a uh, static strut. Okay, it does move a little bit, but for the most part, you think about a car, we see this area is kind of like the uh, the wheel, there's that wheel area right here, and then there's the struts that hold it on, okay, a front and a back strut. Now, we do have one which is a dynamic strut, which is the shoulder blade, okay? These muscles have the ability to move, okay? They're very dynamic. They create stabilization when we raise our arm, when we throw a ball, and so on. The clavicle or the shoulder or the uh, uh, collarbone it mainly just kind of sits there and pivots back and forth a little bit. So a lot of the magic with rehab comes with the blade as well as things that support the blade. So the levator scapula is one of the muscles in question. It's right up here. Okay. A lot of times this is the muscle where people will say, well, it's really tight when I, um, my shoulder feels really tight. And they're kind of talking about up here, although it's the shoulder complex, not necessarily the shoulder they're talking about. The rhomboids, a lot of people have heard about this one before. Let's get this box away. So right here is the rhomboids, all right? The trapezius is a superficial muscle, okay? We've actually taken this layer off of this side over here, and then we have the serratus anterior. The serratus anterior is one that looks like, we'll go right here, see all these little slips right here? Okay, this is the serratus anterior, and its main job is to drive the shoulder blade forward to keep it onto the rib cage. So a lot of times we'll see these rotator cuff, or the, sorry, these shoulder blade muscles not functioning well with people with rotator cuff injuries. So if your doctor is suggesting that you work on the shoulder blade, these are the muscles he's talking about, okay? There are other muscles that go over the shoulder, such as I didn't speak about the deltoid, I didn't speak about the pec or the bicep and things of that nature, but we will go into those into further videos with different graphics. If you are looking for this graphic for your office, uh, you can find it. Just go down here, p2sportscare.com slash shop, and there are free graphics on there. They're web-based graphics. You can use them on your uh, Facebook, your Pinterest, your um, uh, Instagram, and so on. Um, if you're looking for this on a poster, we do have it with customized branding as well, and we have vinyl prints and all that kind of jazz you guys can educate your patients uh, at. So if you enjoyed this, give me a thumbs up and share it with your patients so they can learn about their shoulder injuries.